You have a month to practice these idioms. For sure, these will help you to have the confidence to join in conversations. So continue watching and subscribe to show support for this channel. Are you ready? Here are 12 idioms that you can use to be the star at the dinner table. Number one, the more the merrier. Meaning, the occasion will be more enjoyable if more people are present or involved. When to use, when someone suggests inviting more people or when unexpected guests arrive. Example, of course you can bring your friends to our Christmas dinner, the more the merrier. Number two, deck the halls, meaning to decorate your home for Christmas. When to use, when you're preparing your house for the festive season. Example, this weekend we'll be decking the halls so the place looks festive for the holiday season. Number three, like turkeys voting for Christmas, meaning acting against one's own interests. When to use, when someone makes a decision or accepts a choice that is clearly not in their favor. Example, agreeing to work over the holiday period seemed like turkeys voting for Christmas. Test your knowledge as you go. Can you guess this idiom? Let's continue. Number four, stuffed like a turkey, meaning to eat so much food that you feel very full, when to use after indulging in a big Christmas meal. Example, I ate so much at dinner, I'm stuffed like a turkey. Number five, cold turkey, meaning to suddenly stop a habit or addiction. When to use, often used in the context of stopping something addictive, but during Christmas, it can be a humorous play on words. Example, I'm going to stop eating sweets after tonight, going cold turkey. Number six, full to the brim, meaning completely full, no space left. When to use, when there's a lot of food on offer and you've eaten to your limit. Example, I couldn't possibly have another bite. I'm full to the brim. Number seven, spread some cheer, meaning to make others feel happy or joyful, often through small acts of kindness. When to use, when sharing happiness or doing something nice during the Christmas season. Example, let's bake some cookies and spread some cheer to our neighbors. Test your understanding by answering this question. Don't forget to comment down your answer. Are you still watching? Watch till the end for a special tip that will help you sail through English conversations with ease. Number eight, out with the old, in with the new. Meaning, to embrace new things, replacing the old ones. When to use, when referring to New Year's resolutions or the hope of new beginnings that comes with the season. Example, this year, I'm going to start learning Spanish. Out with the old, in with the new. Number nine, light up like a Christmas tree, meaning to become very excited or animated or to be adorned with lots of bright colors, often in a way that is very noticeable. When to use, when someone gets visibly excited or when something is very brightly decorated. Example, the kids' faces just light up like a Christmas tree whenever they talk about Santa coming. Number 10, ring in the new year, meaning to celebrate the beginning of the new year at midnight on New Year's Eve. When to use, when talking about New Year celebrations. Example, we're planning to ring in the new year with a huge party at our house. Test your knowledge as you go. Can you guess this idiom? Comment down your answer. Number 11, Secret Santa. Meaning, a Christmas tradition in which members of a group are randomly assigned a person to whom they anonymously give a gift. When to use, when discussing or organizing gift exchanges during the holiday season. Example, 
We're doing Secret Santa at work this year, so everyone will get a surprise gift. Number 12. White Christmas. Meaning, a Christmas with snow on the ground, often considered ideal or picturesque. When to use, when you're hoping for or describing a snowy Christmas day. Example, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. Test your understanding by answering these questions. And here's a tip for you to achieve English fluency. Practice makes perfect. Try to incorporate idioms into your daily conversations. Practice using them when speaking with friends or in language exchanges. The more you use them, the more naturally they will come to you when you speak. Practice today and see you again tomorrow.